Hi guys, this is Mike, the old and average gamer, and I'm going to show you how to do a freeze frame for dramatic effect in Shotcut. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of a clip that I'm going to do it with. It's myself playing Forza just quickly. Um, just done a little video for you. So what we're going to do is just for a bit of dramatic effect, we're going to pause it around about there and do a freeze frame. So what we want to do, actually I'm just going to make it back a little touch. So about here, and what we're going to do is we're going to split a playhead like that, so we know exactly where it is. Then we're going to go up to File up the top, and then we're going to go Export Frame. And we want a good location, so we're going to just going to stick it in the desktop, and we're going to name it Forza, just like that, and we're going to save it just like that right so now we have our video we have our picture we have our freeze frame picture what we want to do is just split that apart like that and what we're going to do is just put the, the picture into here so i just need to uh, minimize it a second get the picture there pop them up into our playlist sorry that's just the quickest way to do it and then i'm just going to drag it from the playlist into here And we're just going to make sure they line up nicely. Just going to remove that out of the way a second. Make sure they line up nicely. Get this one, line them up as well. So they're all nicely lined up there. And if you watch now, it's going to pause for a dramatic effect as I overtake that car. And there we go. And we're past. So that's how you do a freeze frame. So once again, just to help you out, you pause it where you want it. So let's do another one. So, oh, it's sliding out there. So what we do is we're going to split a playhead. We're going to press file, we're going to export the frame. So we'll t call this one the Forza slide out. And we're just going to put onto the desktop just for ease of access. So now we've got it on the desktop. We're going to move that one across again. Just going to minimize that. We're going to find for as a slide out. Put it up into the playlist. Open that up again. Pop them in there. Let's move that little bar out of the way a second. We're going to click that on there because it helps it snap together like so snap that one together like so so we've got a couple of dramatic freeze frames so we come around the corner we're gonna pause for a dramatic effect we're gonna carry on i think we're gonna slide on this corner so we pause for a dramatic effect again and we carry on sliding around that corner and completely mess it up because i'm playing with the keyboard Right, so what we can do as well, is we can shorten that if we want to. Let me snap that one up to it again. So this time, it's going to be a little bit shorter. So, there we go. We can even do it just for a brief second. Which actually will make it quite look quite cool. Try that one again. So you come around, come around the corner. Oh, that one wasn't quite long enough, I don't think. Maybe a tad longer, maybe about there. Just for the ultimate dramatic effect. We slide, pause, and slide again. So there we go. That's how we freeze the frame. Up to file, export, pop the picture in there. Simple as that. If you like what you see, could you please hit the like button and help me out and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thank you and goodbye.